I didn't see any other watch with so many details on it, so many numbers, and scales, rulers. It's one of the most complicated chronograph there's out there. You can make a lot of calculations with this watch because of the bezel and all those rulers. You can do uh, multiplication, division, rule of three, square root, and you can also do uh, calculations uh, like time, speed, and distance, or uh, more um, aviation related calculations like uh, fuel consumption rate, fuel quantity required, remaining cruising time, climbing altitude, climbing rate, climbing time. There's also a unit conversion scale for uh, nautical miles, stated mile, kilometer, feet, US gallons, imperial gallons, kilograms pounds, fuel pounds, oil pounds, miles per hour, you know, there's a lot. So uh, let's start with the uh, multiplication. So uh, let's say you want to calculate uh, 30 by 40, for example. So what you do is uh, you rotate uh, the bezel. So, uh, so the 30 over here is aligned with the 10 on the dial. So I'll focus on the 10 on the dial you see here. For uh, multiplications you always align your number your first number with uh, the 10 on the dial like I showed you. So if you would do uh, 50 by uh, 60 for example you will align the 50 with the 10. So it's always the 10 on the dial for multiplications. So I'm uh, bringing uh, the 30 with the 10 So as you can see, the 30 is aligned with the 10. So then I check the 40, but this time on the dial, is aligned with uh, which number. So you can see right here, it's not really um, straight, but uh, I know that the 40 is aligned with the 12. So uh, the result is 12, so in fact it's uh, 1200. So 30 by 40 makes 1,200, but 30 here can be 3 or 30, 300, 3,000. It's not only 30, so you can do um, 3 by 4, it makes 12. It's uh, the same method to calculate uh, 300 uh, by 4, which makes uh, 1,200 as well. But you can cal also calculate um, 3,000 by 4,000 uh, or uh, which makes uh, 12 millions or uh, 300 by 400 which makes uh, 120,000 or uh, you know 3,000 by 4 or 3 by uh, 4,000 you know so uh, let's calculate uh, 3.15 by uh, 1.4 so over here we have uh, the, th the 3 and uh, this is uh, 3.5 so here we have a 3, 3.1, 3.2, 0.3, 0.4 and 0.5 so 3.15 is 3.15 so uh, like I said before we bring uh, our uh, 3.15 with the 10 on the dial So uh, the 3.15 is aligned with the 10 over here, and then we check the 4, the 1.4 is aligned with which number. So we, th we see that the 1.4 is aligned with 4.1234. So it's aligned with 4.4, but in fact it's a little bit after the 4.4, so it's uh, 4.41. Of course, uh, this kind of uh, calculations doesn't give you an exact number, but at least you can know for this example that it's around 4.4. For uh, the division, it's a little different uh, than the multiplication, because uh, this time you align the two numbers you want to divide together, and then you check the 10 on the dial. So for example, 120 
divided by 40 so you align the 12 because 12 is 120 like I told you before it can be 12 or uh, 1200 and so on so you align the 12 with 40 so the 12 and the 40 are aligned and then you check the 10 on the dial is aligned with the 30 over here so the answer is 30 but in fact is 3 because uh, 120 divided by 40 is 3 so now uh, let's try 7.6 divided by 5.5 so here we have our 7 here and uh, this is 8 so 7.6 is here and the 5.5 is over here as you can see so we have to align those two, two numbers together okay so now the 7.6 is aligned with the 5.5 and then we check the 10 on the dial over here and we see that it's almost aligned with the 1.4 but in fact it's a little bit less than 1.4 the real answer is 